Previously, we discussed overbreath and vagueness doctrines. They go to fictitious people, fictitious situations. We now turn to actual people, actual situations, and school speech. Uh, the school speech doctrine comes from Tinker uh, v. Des Moines Independent School District. Big case here. Uh, kids were wearing black armbands to protest the Vietnam War. Court says one that this was pure speech. Uh, this is was this case was decided before Spence v. Washington uh, in that test, which we discussed in the symbolic conduct topic of this lecture. Here's your black letter law for school speech. Um, in school, students have limited First Amendment rights, um, but they don't just lose those rights at the schoolhouse gate. Uh, they do, however, have a right to limited speech based on fear of disturbance, so long as that fear is not undifferentiated fear or apprehension. That is to say that school authorities can limit a student's speech, speech in school, 